All right, in this video, we're gonna look at how to get RSS feeds based on your language or location. And before we dive into this tutorial, I want you to know that you can get this component for free over at my website or following the KOWP free stuff link in the description of any of my videos. Over here at my website, you can click on that link right there. And then inside of the free components folder, make sure you look for language and geography RSS. Now, some of the stuff that I'll be using in this tutorial has been covered in recent tutorials or older tutorials. I will be using some regex capture groups. I did a video on that about a week ago. I also have several other regex videos that may be helpful uh, depending on what you're trying to do. And then I'll be using XML to actually get the title and part of the image link, but the regex is gonna be used for the image link. Now, what I have over here right now are three different topics. This one here is Brazil sports, and then I also have uh, German news. Again, this language here is different, obviously, than the Brazil sports. And then I have a location-specific RSS for the United Kingdom. This comes directly from the United Kingdom technology RSS feed. So how am I getting these separate feeds with languages and locations? Go to Google, type in Google News Language. Click on that link right there. And here are the languages and regions that Google provides RSS feeds for. For this example, I'll scroll down to Brazil, click on it. I'm going to click on the sports topic. And then I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this, and I'm going to click the RSS link down here at the bottom. This is the XML file that we want to dissect and get our information from. Now, again, I encourage you to check out this KOWP tutorial, Learn to Parse XML, for some of the basics of parsing XML. I do pretty much the same stuff with this particular example here. But what I want you to notice here is that this first item, this first story, this right here is what I'm grabbing to get that. And then inside of the description of this particular item in the XML, there is an image source right there. I'm using regex to capture that URL and I'm getting that image to show up on my custom live wallpaper. If I progress forward to the second one, so here I am at my second item, its title does match what I have over here. But what I also have set up for you in this component is that if an image source is not available in the description of that particular item, down here there is no image source. I have this shown to tell you there's no image in that particular story. Now going ahead to the third one, let's give it a second to update. Here's our third one. As you can see, it is matching up and we do have an image source somewhere inside of here, right there. So I'm matching that up to get that. And not only that, if we come and tap on this image, what it will do most of the time is it will load that exact article. And in this case, it's in Portuguese. But I have found sometimes it will try to load a different link. And I think it's a deal with KOWP trying to get that new link. Every time I change this, technically there's a new link for each one of these. And sometimes KOWP can be a little bit slow in loading that. So like, for example, here, if I click on this image, notice it's still loading up the previous one. If I come back and click on refresh, this is a little button that I have to refresh the XMLs. Give that a second to load. Now let's click on it and we are getting the correct link. So just something to point out there, that's why I have that refresh. Down here at the bottom, this is what goes through the various topics. And again, we have to give it a second for the image to load. So here is the German news. But basically, um, that's kind of an overview. What do you need to change when you get this component? Inside of the component, the only thing you really need to change, unless you wanna change the way it looks, is this URL list global. It's the first global inside of the global section in the component. Now, if I tap on this, you're going to see I have three names, and I'm using these to keep things organized. What you would do is you would tap on this URL over here and go and edit. Take the URL of this XML file, copy and paste it into here. You will see that I already have that for this particular topic. And then you'll notice I have two hashtags. I have mentioned this in previous videos, but two hashtags after this URL, I can give it a name. That way, when I look at it in my list, I can know which one I'm picking. Follow that by a comma, and you can copy and paste as many of these XMLs that you want. For example, if I wanted UK, click on my topic, scroll to the bottom, get the RSS, copy, and paste that into this list global. And as a matter of fact, I'll go to the end of this and I will add that one to this particular component so that you can see it will update. It will take a second, but it is going to work. 
So I'm at the end of that long list of URLs followed by a double hashtag with the name of the particular topic that I wanted to give to it. Put a comma. Let's paste that new URL in that we have up here. So there's my new URL, the one from up here, double hashtag, and this will be UK Entertainment. So I have a new one there. Now when I go back to this list, I should have a fourth one here, UK Entertainment. I'm gonna go ahead and check on that, and it's gonna take a second to load. So here's that first item, and the title is, yep, matches that, and we do have an image source inside of that description. So it is pulling that information. That's the only thing you have to change unless you want to change the way this thing looks. Let's test it out and see if it opens this link. Tap in the image. It is loading the correct one. And again, in the event it does not load the correct one, click on that refresh and it should get you back in business. Now, you could change the number of various stories you want per topic. In this case, you will get five of them and the way I have the arrows set up, it will loop back around through these. The title, you don't have to change this, but this title is using a little bit of XML. So check out my video tutorials on that. And I'm doing item one, item two, item three, item four, item five. And be careful if you're doing this manually to access a number global or a global in general inside of the XML path, make sure you use quotation plus whatever your global variable name is, another plus and another quotation and I'm accessing all of that inside of the square brackets. So again, I'm getting item one, item two, et cetera. Now I also have a text converter to cut this to 100 characters followed by three dots just to save a little bit of space. The image, the way I'm cutting the image from the description, I'm getting that image source, whichever one it may be, I'm looking inside of the description of the XML and I'm doing some regex, a single regex function to create a capture group, and that capture group actually contains the image source, whatever that URL may be. And then I'm referring back to that capture group as dollar symbol one. I did mention that in the regex, the most recent regex tutorial I completed about a week or two ago. Now in the event that we don't have an image, this is just a global image where you saw the red circle with a slash through it. I have it set up in a function such that if it's not matching an HTTP URL up here in image, I have it set to return this global image instead of it actually returning the image from the XML or the description since there really isn't one. And then last but not least, another XML to get item one, item two, item three, and I'm getting the link from there. So it's gonna pull that particular link to the story that you're trying to find. Now that's the dirty part of all of this is creating those globals. And if I actually come inside of here and show you the title, for example, the title is just gonna simply be GV title because we created that back in our globals. This square that I have, I have its FX set up to the following code. This is where I'm looking to see if GV image, where we're getting that image URL, if the first three characters, TC cut, is HTT, that means it is returning a URL. If there's not an image source inside of this thing, it's gonna actually return the very first part of the description followed by all this junk. So the first three characters will not be HTT. That's if there's not an image source inside of that description. So if it is HTT, which in this case it is, it's going to return that GV image URL. If the first three characters are not HTT, it's going to return that global image that I had with the red circle and the slash going through it. Other things inside of here, your basic arrows. Uh, I have that toggling the list global. This is the previous arrow, so I'm toggling GV num and I'm doing previous value. Very similar over here for this one, I'm just doing the next value for that arrow. This font icon that you see right here, I have its touch set to toggle the global switch URL. That's where you add those individual topics that you want based on your location and language. And I have it set to go to next value. So this is what will take us from the Brazil sports to the German news, to the UK tech, to the UK entertainment or whatever you add inside of that list global. And then the refresh button over here, if we touch the refresh button, that's going to perform a custom action force RSS text XML update. So a lot of this stuff is really taken, you know, I've done, I don't know how many KOWP or custom tutorials, but it's taken a lot of things and we're really just building them all together to create one coherent piece. Now, obviously you can go in here and change the background. That's just that basic square. And then I have a background stroke, which is the same size of that square, but that's that white line that you see around the edge. 
you don't have to put this text item that you see over here. That text item is just a way of it showing me which particular story I'm on inside of a topic, whether I'm in item one, item two, item three, item four, item five. And there you have it, a way to get an RS feed from Google based on your language or your location. And again, you can pick up this entire component for free in my KOWP free stuff folder. Look under free components and then look for the language and geography RSS component. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.